guys, welcome. This is Unfinished. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Thank you for joining. This is the only place where we get to finish and finish matters. Today, we're talking about Madaraka Day. And first, we want to know, what do you know about Madaraka Day? Which happens on the 1st of June? And on to our first question. What difference do you expect this Madaraka Day? Let me know what you think in the comment section at Y254 Unfinished. When Kenyans attain independence, and it's, a, it's a special day for Kenyans because you know, it'll seek a point where you know we we tuliamua to stand for our rights. You know, tuliamua as Kenyans, we come in and support ourselves. You know, it's, it's upon us, sasa. Like we came in and took a part of that freedom we wanted for so long. Yeah. So like it's more of like now Kenya became Kenya. Yeah, yeah. Kila mbacho na charaji ya ifanyiki madaraka ni kwamba rais aweze kutueleza uh, zile, zile ushuru ambazo zina zina zinatolewa kwa Kenya aswa kuna ushuru ambao ili wali propose itaongezeka wata, wataweka VAT kwa mkate so aseme tu okay agenda yake ilikuwa ni bottom up is that the bottom up ambayo alikuwa na, anazungumzia uh, before, before, before I was elected as the, as the president of the Republic of Kenya, I love Pia kuna food insecurity. Jose kuruko na scandal ya fake fertilizers. So, as the president of, of the Republic of Kenya, atueleze ne anafanya nini to make sure that our food security as Kenyans iko sawa. They should. Uh, they should learn to celebrate those who fought for us independence. Yeah, they should embrace them. They should be proud of them. Because if it weren't for them, I don't know where Kenya will be right now. Yeah. Sioni kama kuna kutakuwa na changes, kuna kitu itabadilika. So, maneno ya president akuwa tu ni ile ile tu ya kawaida. Anaongeanga, so atatupea hopes. Hopes zenye azifiki. Hey, as it make the rice and a focus on Muzia Mamboya Kuzu Mamboya Shukuki or Kenya Kwanza Koliko Kwanda on a Yamamba into Latin Nine Mamboya Yenye Kenya Jafika Apo Yan to Menda Yusana Koliko Vitus and Tunafakot Nashukuka Sis Kamasi or Kenya Madaraka Nadani Kivyangu Madaraka Unajo to Kiapo Yafa to go to Nanda Kwangazia Mamba Ambaya Natusu Sisi or Kenya Na Wakati Mungine tukiangazia zile sherehe ama hafla ambazo zimekuwa zikifanywa awali napata kwamba tumekuja ndio tuna matarajio lakini wengi wetu tunaenda bila bila kwa kushugu, ama kwenda kuweka mambo yetu ambayo yanatuhusu mbele tunaenda hapo kwa sababu sisi ni wa mrengo fulani kwa hivyo kitu naweza sema ni kwamba tukienda katika madaraka hii tuelewe kwamba tuna mambo ambayo yafaya shughuliko na haya mambo yanakidhiwa ama hayakidhiwi si kwamba tunaenda hapo kushangilia ama kwenda kununa wakati kile kinachoangaziwa ni kizuri na wakati ambapo ni kibaya bado kwa sababu sisi ni wa ule mrengo bado tunakishangilia haifai tuwe na mnaiwe kama wa Kenya uh, madaraka is a day that Kenyans used to celebrate their independence their uniqueness their belonging the sense of belonging um, uh, I'd like for the government to maybe review some of the events that they usually do for the day maybe they'd be able to be a little bit more inclusive and remember maybe the less fortunate during that moment. Uh, yeah, providing support and all that from food staffs. Uh, during the floods, maybe some of the people are uh, still complaining because of uh, lack of shelter and all that. Maybe they'll be able to think and strategies and ways that they can, they can be able to remember such people in such scenarios. The first thing that they should do is first incorporating all citizens. Citizens should know. I think people um, have forgotten what Madaraka actually means. Um, they should uh, mobilize students and uh, no students, actually even students and uh, citizens, to know what uh, really happened on Madaraka Day. And by that, I, I think uh, it will um, increase that sense of celebrating the day which I think is a thing that has never has, has, uh, has, been, uh, has been forgotten for some time. Like people just celebrate it like any other holiday, like it's Easter, like it's uh, Jamhuri Day, like Christmas. They don't know what Madaraka Day actually means. 
So the government should actually do, what they should actually do uh, is educate people on what happened on Madaraka Day and why are we celebrating Madaraka Day. Uh, development was almost like you to share me, but for Kenya, but already they were nice there. It is a yellow life. So everything should be done to improve the life of any other Kenyan. So Madaraka Day, ever since, since 1963, we've been celebrating as Kenyans and uh, the 2024 season is quite tough on us. We've been suffering high taxes and uh, I expect the government to at least have mercy on, on the local Monainchi because we elected this government in the premise that uh, it was uh, a government to elevate our suffering. But instead, we are suffering more compared to 2022. Yeah. We would like to, to urge people to be more like personal effort uh, is what will lead to a beautiful collective effort. So what you do as yourself is what matters. Uh, instead of uh, depending on other people, uh, I'm, a, I'm a the government, just play your role as a human being. As a country, I think we should, uh, like, uh, uh -huh. Re reach out to many people in different parts of the country and uh, maybe celebrate them, especially our heroes, and yeah, just find a different way of celebrating them. Okay, uh, for for the first thing, Madaraka Day to end, Nibusia, Bungoma. So we are doing it differently in terms of Nimaria Kwanza Kwenda Bungoma. Yeah. And I'm happy for my brothers and sisters there. Yeah. So what I would like us to do differently this Madaraka that has not been happening is I would like to take people to take this time to remember what happened to us as a country many years back. We did not fight for different tribes. We fought for Kenya as a country. So maybe we should take this time to bond, be one. Um, and let's not be, you know, let's not have tribalism. And um, let's take this time also to take part in the social activities that the government has planned for us. Let us be peaceful. Which takes us to our next question. Do you think Kenya actually gained self-independence or do we still need help from foreign countries? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I guess for, for independence, maybe I guess if we as Kenyans come as one, you know. Kuna, there, are, there are points where... We feel as in, you know, we feel tunakoa nyongi in the, in the sense that, you know, after each, each and every government, there is new pressures that come in. You know, there is, there is new and new things that come in. Now, I think for, for this Madaraka, it's time uh, we address those issues, you know. We address and we stand for them, you know. It's upon us that we look for a solution where it fits all as Kenyans. It's clear that kuna high Kenyans and low Kenyans. We are all Kenyan at once. You know, like how the constitution says, you know, it starts as kukisama preamble in asema, we the people of Kenya. It doesn't mean you or me, it means sisi wote. Yes, that's, I think that's my expectation for, that's my expectation for this Madaraka, that we find a solution of where we as Kenyans can live in harmony and peace, knowing that everything is going well and we can trust in our government in a way that we know we are not Yeah. I think Kenya is a pick up. Yeah. Talking as a Kenyan, I think at least it's about two cosas if you like at the Afrika apo kwa kudi could depend on ourselves because if kama tuna 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 ina an extra mile ya ukopa madeni ndio at least yeah, we sustain our economy. So that means we are still. But still have to borrow from outside because Kenya is a developing country. So like we have to get help from these, these uh, developed countries and also from the African Union. Yeah. According to me, I'll say Kenya have not gained that self-power. Yeah, we still need help. And that's why we are always depending on other countries, the developed countries to keep helping us. Yeah. Kenya to regain independent, but ni vile bado uh, we don't believe ourselves. Tunataka usaidizi kutoka inje, but sisi wenyewe tuneza fanya uh, economic yetu ineza to sustain. Ni vile bado watuja uh, believe in it. Yeah. Um, at the moment I'll say that Kenya is still self, uh, is not 
independent. Um, they still rely a lot on support from developed countries, as we call them. Um, for instance, maybe uh, uh, money that comes from maybe Great Britain and uh, the US during bilateral agreements. So I'll say Kenya, Kenya is not yet there, but hopefully. Um, I know Vision 20 that is knocking on the door and uh, we, we can maybe strategize and make another vision, maybe 2040 or 2050. I don't know. Kenya is independent, but Kenya is independent, but Kenya is ni kama sasa tunatawaliwa lakini Kenya ni Kenya independence sasa hata hakuna haja ya nini independence ilifanyike ni Kenya yeah. kwa sababu vitu nyingi za tunataka kufanya ni vitu za uarabuni kuliko vitu tunafuata kuliko kufuata sisi vitu zenye zina affect sisi hapa kama wa Kenya yeah tukifanya hivyo kushukikia kama like yeah vitu nyingi tu yenye tunafanya ni vitu za nje si za Kenya sisi hapa Kenya kufikia sasa uh, ikizingatia kwamba tuna uh, karibia miaka 62 baada ya uhuru uh, ni nje ambayo inaweza jitegemea lakini kwa sababu tume tunajiona kwamba hatujafikia bado tunaangazia tuna wategemea wale wengine yafaa tutumie zile mali ghafi ambazo ziko Kenya eh, kujiendeleza tu, tujitengeze eh, wa, ama wa Kenya tumia wale wa Kenya ambao wana uh, ome, wana mali kufikia kiwango fulani kuanza kutumia zile mali ili kuji, kujiendeleza kama taifa lakini sasa uh, ikifikia wakati ambapo bado tuna uh, tunaenda chini ya ubepari wakati ambapo jambo zuri jambo baya ambalo linaletwa tunalikubali kwa minajili ya eti kutaka kufaidi hatufaidi lolote mfano uh, wakati tunakubali haya mambo na ushoga ushoga ni jambo baya lakini kwa sababu eti kuna uh, faida fulani ambayo inaandamana nayo mbona tu tukubali haifai tukubali kwa hivyo kivyangu Kenya inaweza ikajisimamia lakini eh, yale ambayo tushakuwa nayo akilini kwamba hatuwezi na tutakuwa hivyo nyingine zingine kama Tanzania eh, kuna wakati ambapo kukiwa na swala ambalo liwafurahishi bunge linakataa lakini hapa Kenya eh, wale viongozi ama wabunge ambao kwa mrengo wa serikali wanakubali kwa sababu serikali imekubali hata kama ni baya hawajali kama linawaadhiri wananchi kwa njia hasi na no. no. according to the independence Kenya itself or herself i can say because it's still developing we still need more materials from extra countries why am i saying that Kenya still relies on other countries for finance we can say like for now, people are really crying about the taxes or the high living of standard. So this is come across when the Kenya, they lack enough materials or uh, fin they are not financially stable that they can cater for the life of the people within the Kenya. So this still will still require them to require some uh, support from other countries so that they can go they can see the way they can succeed in this government like for instance for now we can say like through education we are being supported but the other side sides we are not well, like, for instance, in, uh, let's say, let's say on people facing, like, transport, transport and communication, these people are really crying on, like, fuel has been raised, the amount needed, like, we need the right track, so we still need support, like, in short, we still need support from other countries for us to develop. But Kenya, as for now, we are not still stable because we still require from other countries. Independence, ni kama viongozi tuko nao, they are just colonial caretakers, for real. Apo kwa independence, maybe ni letu ya kudaganya tu kufunga macho. But in real sense, viongozi tuko nao, just colonial caretakers. Yeah. I think we're just 
it's a different type of colonization, but we're still there anyway. Yeah. From what I've been I've been reading stories before independence, and what I can say is we actually have independence, but what we don't have is financial independence because we have to rely on foreign countries, foreign nations to support our own economy. When, for example, when you look at uh, farms like IMF, uh, USAID, all these farms, they are controlling our country by, for example, Ruto, when, he, when the president takes debts, he, the, the debts are being given by some regulations, like some, some uh, how are they called, um, like you are being told, we'll give you 30 billion. But by that, you have to increase taxes, or you have to, to, to enhance parental, uh, how is it called? Um, uh, you have to mobilize your people and educate your people on how they will, you will reduce actually your own population. So that, those are the things that I actually see. Uh, I see like uh, we are not independent. We are independent socially. We can do whatever we want. But financially, we have not reached a point where we can say we are an independent nation. Yeah, so for me, I can say we are independent, but financially not. Kenya, Kenya is not fully independent. We've been, uh, we've been uh, relying on uh, foreign donations for a while. I expected that uh, after six years of independence, we ought to be self-reliant in the sense that we can uh, produce most of our basic items locally. But in the real sense, we, we tend to look, to look east and uh, just recently, our president uh, was, in, uh, was in the U.S. Uh, uh, pitting, going, going to, to beg. Not per se, he was not begging a, a lot, but uh, I felt like uh, si 60 years uh, post-independence, we had to be self-reliant. No, I don't. No, I think we're just... It's a different type of colonization, but we're still there anyway. Yeah. We still have to borrow from outside because Kenya is a developing country. So, like, we have to get help from these, these uh, developed countries and also from the African Union. Yeah. It's not important to import because, uh, for instance, me na limanga mayai na izimaya ya kienyeji. So, I don't have market. You see, so um, I don't know what they are doing in these big houses, but um, we don't have to import and stuff like that. At least what's the idea, we stand on ourselves, yeah. As a country, I don't think we're like in a really, really bad place, but we can also agree that we haven't yet attained the self-country independence. Um, I feel like borrowing from other countries, be it knowledge, be it money, it's not such a bad thing. But as much as we're also borrowing, let's learn from it. You know, they usually say when a child asks for fish, do not give them fish, teach them how to fish. So as much as we're getting knowledge from them, can we also try to learn how they do their things so we can be able to, you know, have a better economy and just be better um, at improving the country. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with two more questions.